in this video we'll talk about the existence of inverse of a function that means when does inverse of a function actually exist we have already seen in the composition videos that the composition of function also does not always exist there is some necessary condition which has to be satisfied for composition similarly in inverse of function also we study that there is some necessary condition which must be followed only then you can find the inverse of a function so let's get started by understanding what is that condition and how do we actually find the inverse will be taken up in the subsequent video so i have an outline of a cartesian plane x axis y axis here also let's draw the second graph side by side x axis and y axis now inverse of function any function fx the inverse of this will be written as what will be written as f inverse x this we have already studied in the previous video now a note point would be often people get confused with f inverse x and f x whole inverse so are both these things same f inverse x and f x whole inverse no that is not the case these are not equal and this is a very important note point what is f inverse x it is only and only the inverse of a function fx but what is fx whole inverse fx whole inverse means 1 upon fx so it is the reciprocal of fx so these are not equal this was one note point now let's move on to the graphical analysis that means inverse of a function would exist when inverse of a function exists if and only if the function is what it is a bijective function if i have a bijective function only then the inverse would exist otherwise it would not exist now what is a bijective function a bijective function is a one one on two function so inverse of a function exists only and only if i have a bijective function that means one one on two function now one thing is again very clear that a graph which goes like this suppose or a strictly increasing graph or a strictly decreasing graph would always be 1 1 so if it is 1 1 and you can check it for being on to it would be bijective and you can find the inverse what is the criteria the criteria is simply draw a line parallel to x axis if it cuts the graph at only one point my function is 1 1 otherwise it is not but what about some what different graph a different graph for the manner as now this is a graph and again if i want to check whether it is 1 1 or not what do i need to do i need to draw a line parallel to the x axis so i am drawing a line parallel to the x axis now how many points intersection of the line with the graph two points and since the line intersects the graph at more than one point this is not 1 1 and here only intersection at one point so it was 1 1 and if it is both 1 1 and on to it is a bijective function and if it is a bijective function it is an invertible function so you understand that for the inverse to exist what do i need to have i need to have a bijective function and bijective function will basically help me in finding the inverse and that will give me an invertible function 